tell me something, boy. Zagreus. Why did you do all this? Return the queen. Go to such lengths. At a certain point, you must have learned the way I felt about her. Yet still, you persisted. If I were you, I'd not have done me any favors. I didn't often stop to give it much thought. I just knew I needed to find her. And then as soon as I did, I knew I needed her in my life. In other words, doing you any favors was never a priority, Father. Just ended up that way, I guess. I appreciate your candor. Nevertheless, I thank you. I do not know how you accomplished what you did, but know that I am grateful for the outcome, even if I fail to act like it much of the time. You're welcome. Father, all this stuff with the Olympians, will you just tell me what's going on for once? How did Mother come to join you here? What's your problem with Uncle Zeus? I thought she already told you. Ah, come with me, now. Swear to me that you shall never repeat what you are about to hear. Swear it. All right, all right, I swear. I swear in your own name I'll keep what you're about to say between us. So? So, you had it mostly right before. After I inherited the underworld, your uncle Zeus felt sympathy for me, he says. Your mother, he knew she was unhappy on Olympus. And he knew I was drawn to her. So what did he do? He brought her here, gave her to me as a gift. You weren't expecting a gift like that. But she didn't want to return to Olympus, and you liked her, so you didn't send her away. And you were angry with Zeus for putting you in that position. Cut ties with him. Yes! The blasted fool with all his flights of fancy. He does whatever he wants. He could have achieved a similar outcome in a limitless number of reasonable ways, rather than resort to what was tantamount to kidnapping, even if she wanted to leave. And now if Demeter and the others found all this out, you and Mother, even Zeus, would be in a bad spot, wouldn't he? He must have a temper on him to match yours. You know nothing of tempers of mine as your frame of reference, Agrius. Now enough of this. You know the rest. Remember your oath. I will. Take care, Father. Zagreus, come here a moment, please. All right. We've matters with Olympus to resolve. They don't know I'm here, most of them, besides Zeus, maybe Athena. They think you're Nyx's son rather than mine and that your goal is still to join them on their mountaintop. What a mess. What can we do? The gods of Olympus have all been very good to me for the most part. I don't feel great about deceiving them. They keep trying to help me escape. What can we do? We can make peace with them and let them know the truth. So much of it as they would tolerate. Diplomacy is not your father's strong suit. But I'm going to need you two to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Yes, Mother. So what do you intend to do, and how do I fit in? We're going to invite all of them to a little family gathering. Here. And you shall personally deliver them their invitations, Sagrius. Mother, are you serious? So we're just going to have a bash with them, and they'll just see you after all this time and be fine with everything? They certainly shall not be fine with everything. But Hades and I will be prepared to tell them what they need to hear. Don't worry. I shall do the talking. What are you going to say? Oh, you know. That we met, fell in love, eloped, had a child. A child who, once grown, sought desperately to reconnect with his extended family. To the chagrin of his grim lord father. That's... that's all true. As individual statements, at least. 
Fortunately, our loving and dutiful son at last persuaded his mother and father to reveal their secretive relationship and make an effort to rejoin their great family. Your mother won't be happy that you left. I'll deal with her. Perhaps I'll have to visit her and the rest of them from time to time, if that's what it shall take. But I'll be back. I have no choice. Did you know that if you eat the seeds of an underworld pomegranate, then you cannot leave for one month out of the year per seed? What? No, I never knew that. Neither do they. How soon is this family gathering you have in mind going to take place? Soon after you invite them all, I hope. Now go. And trust in me, all right? We have a lot to learn of trust, I think. I know what you mean. I'll let you know when it's done. Next. Mother. Zagreus. It's done, Mother. Father, the invitations. Personally sent to everyone with whom I've been in contact. So what do we do now? Excellent, Zagreus. Congratulate him, Hades. On a job well done. Oh. Persephone, how can you be so certain your request was executed to your satisfaction? It's known as trust, Hades. Or faith. They're similar. Try one sometime. It'll be good for you. As for what we do next, why, we've a great big feast we must prepare. This house is not a suitable location for such guests. Dionysus alone shall bring ruin to this place. Or... Ah... Uh, the faith thing that you said. Yes, good. Now then, we have a lot of work to go around. So why don't we call everyone on staff and let them in on this? And dole out suitable responsibilities, all right? All right. All right. All right. Whew. I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad. For the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun... I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Even if they don't, I don't like it. Zagreus, I may not be an expert, but here's what I've come to understand about how families work. At least our own. The thing is... How we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use. I think, deep down, everyone in our family knows this. You're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway. I guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch. The common ground in our family is that we want peace. Besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere. That elaborate tale... It's less a deception, and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the past and start anew. No hard feelings. You don't have hard feelings? What about Father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the open. And my mother... She's just glad I'm alive. And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. What can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with one another. That any of us like each other in the slightest. It's a wonder and a blessing, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. I think I'll be heading out again soon. See you when I get back. Sounds good. I'll see you then. To think your father and that sweet Persephone, they were together down there all along. 
I was so certain that your father's heart was gold. That's just the thing with love, dearest. That sometimes it surprises even me. Uncle Poseidon. I'll tell you, nephew, I was quite taken aback to learn Persephone. She was your mother all along. Just disappeared up here one day. Ran off, I figured, as she's got some mortal blood in her. But she was with your father. That rascal is my brother after all. Your dear mother, Persephone, is a shrewd woman, Zagreus. More than an equal to your mighty father. I'm pleased to know you've made amends with her, and taken new responsibilities within your house. Naturally, I'll continue to pitch in. And I hope that we'll meet again someday. That's what you get. Zagreus will have a clever mother in Persephone. A very clever mother. And a lordly father. They're quite the team, that's evident. True rivals for Hera and me. My little sprout. Young Zagreus. My grandson. I can scarce believe it still. To think that Kore, or Persephone, my daughter, she had been with foster brother Hades all this time. A match I wouldn't have expected. Or approved. That's why she left. How blasted hearts do what they want. Young Sprout, I cannot fully understand my daughter's choices, such as what she saw in your gloom filled father to have eloped with him. But if you are the result, then she is clearly wiser than I estimated. Father, how are you doing without Mother around? Will she be all right on Olympus? Clearly, she is more than capable of handling herself. And we here have been well accustomed to not having her about. So everything's back to normal, then? That sounds lovely. Nothing is normal anymore. Besides, she shall return. Knowing that she shall return, is that not sufficient for you? Be patient for once. Glad you're handling it fine. It's good to see Mother's back. Not that I was too concerned, but I was definitely a little concerned. I shared in that particular concern. And yes, it is good the Queen has once again returned. And she shall have to depart again before we know it, so cherish your time with her, boy. Zagreus. Zagreus. I never stopped to think about why pomegranates grew here in the underworld. Mother's doing from before then. And all that stuff she told the Olympians about how they bind you to this place. It's all nonsense. You know full well that the pomegranates in my realm hold a certain power beyond the tartness of their taste, boy. The Queen. She has a way with plants, you see. A bit of her own mother's gift, applied more sensibly. You kept them growing all this time. Flourishing even because of her. They are very easy to maintain. This garden isn't quite the sight yours was back on the surface, is it, Mother? On the contrary, Zagreus. It has its own unique charm, as each garden does. I was impressed it wasn't left entirely to rot after my absence. It was totally off limits to me, though I guess Father must have taken care to maintain it as best he could. He did, all right. Minus the part where you weren't allowed. Though, let's look after it from here, shall we? Sounds good. So, Mother, all the pomegranates around here, those are your doing. Not a lot of fruit trees take to this environment, my son. Though there's something about pomegranates. Maybe it's that their seeds so resemble the gemstones your father likes so much. Or that they don't need much water. Fruit trees, huh? I grew up around all these palms and never thought much of it. Are there many other types of fruit trees on the surface, then? Well, I suppose there are a few. But I like pomegranates most of all. I like them too. 
I think I see that look again, if I'm not mistaken in it, lad. What's on your mind? If you'd like to share, I'm listening. Oh, it's just... Sometimes I find my thoughts, they wander between those I care about. It's not just one. You mortals, typically you had a single suitor, did you not? So we often told each other, yes. But you're not like us mortals, or us shades. Nor are most of the others here. You gods. I cannot think of even one who had a single mate. Although, your father. Maybe he is one. Wait, you're saying father? He was never with somebody else besides my mother. Well, I, of course, don't know so very much about him, lad. But that's the way of it from what I've learned. You needn't follow in his footsteps, though. I think you know that well enough by now. Hey, sir. Meant to say, I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble after letting me in Father's bedchambers. Think nothing of it, lad. It was a risk I was willing to take. And for his part, your father looked the other way on that one. Though I did not expect you to get free reign to go there as you please. Mother can be quite persuasive. I can't entirely get used to seeing us together like this. I can't believe Father's actually almost smiling. Mother looks beautiful and right at home. More to be done. You know, that painting in Father's, I mean, your bedchambers, it turned out rather well, didn't it? Some very talented shades around here. Oh, it's beautiful. I tried to persuade your father to hang it out in the hall, but he's too coy about such things. Though I like it where it is. A reminder to us every day and night. Still can't believe you let me hold a spear. Mother, I know there may not be many things you miss from living on Olympus, though I wondered if perhaps Ambrosia may be one of them. And got you some, because, well, here. <gasps> Why, this really is Ambrosia. How did you even acquire this, Sagrius? It brings back memories for certain, and never the bad ones, which... I think it must be why we prize this stuff so much. This is for me. It is, it is, of course. And it's my dearest hope that at some point long from now, when you're relaxing with a bottle of Ambrosia, dare I say perhaps with father, that these memories will be among the ones that spring to mind. Oh, my son. I shall certainly not need Ambrosia to think back upon getting to know you with the greatest fondness. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, mother. Here, Mother. More bottled pleasant memories for you. I know you're glad you've long since left Olympus, but I'm glad you were there because the experience of it must have played no small part in making you who you are. You know, the last bottle you gave me brought more pleasant memories than I expected. No telling just how many more of them I've tucked away. Say, would it be all right if I share this with your father? It is yours to do with as you please. <laughs> Almost sounded like a no to me. No, I mean, yes, please share it with Father if he would be willing. I imagine what few pleasant memories he has are all of you. Nonsense. There's also Cerberus. Present company excluded. Come on, son. Your father has a lot of work to do, but I'm absolutely certain that he has fond memories of you. Though I know that isn't reassuring coming from me. Everything is somehow reassuring coming from you, Mother. I thought about it more, Mother, and I would like very much if you and Father were to share this. Though, maybe don't let on where you got it, just in case. This is splendid, Zagreus, but please, 
If there's one thing I've learned since we met, it's that the trust we share is at the very foundation of our relationships. Why shouldn't he know who this is from? Besides, I think he could figure it out. Well, when it came to the Olympians, you said yourself that there was only so much truth that they could tolerate. Are you sure Father would be tolerant knowing I got this for the both of you? I'm sure enough. And if he isn't, I suppose it's more for me. <laughs> well, just as long as someone puts it to good use. You know I always wanted to be a mother, Zagreus. But after you were born, I was certain I had lost my chance. Then one fine morning you just walked into my life. And here we are. I still cannot entirely believe it. What I mean is... I love you, son. I'm doing my best. I know. I love you too, mother. That pomegranate blossom. I caught it subtle scent as you approached. The queen has her mother's strength. And much more self-control. What, you're afraid of a little flower now, father? One that imbues me with the fiercest might of Olympus granted, but still, it looks harmless at least. I fear your little flower there much more than you. The queen and her mother, they possess power over life, thus power over death. You think your mother shall make me go soft to you? I think we'll get there, yes. And what of the complaints from Elysium? They wanted the lawns thoroughly manicured for their athletic contests. Already taken care of. Though the flooding in Asphodel, mm, that doesn't look like something we can clear up for quite some time. Fortunately, the residents seem to be getting accustomed to it. There have been fewer reports about it as of late. And what of the Sator problem? Blasted things are rampant up there still. Well, they're probably contained up there, at least. And Zagreus has been keeping them in check, hasn't he? He has. The work certainly never ceases, Zagreus. Indeed. More than enough parchment work to go around. Your father and I still have a bit of work here to wrap up. Ugh. Oh, come on, Hades. Mortals are much more resilient than that. What, you think they'll show up at your gates here all at once? They have our family looking out for them. That is what I'm afraid of. Do you truly believe my brothers and the rest shall take the sort of care of them while they draw breath? as we do here after they have expired. It's true we have to look out for them indefinitely, while Olympus need only look out for them for a little while. But our relatives are always watching from their mountain. And if they do turn a blind eye once in a while, mortals aren't bad at fending for themselves. But they are never satisfied, always begging us to provide more and more. They like us, Hades. They praise us, tell one another about us. What do you expect? Would you rather they forgot about us? No. No, I suppose not. But they need us. Well, we need them. Well, be that as it may. If they pester you at all, do let me know and I shall have them dealt with quickly. Oh, Hades. I think the shades around here have been through enough as it is. I don't mind them. After all the time I spent on my own, having some company has been a welcome change. You are certain all your needs have been provided for? Because if there's anything that you require... Require? Look at this place, Hades. Look at me. I have everything. And so do you. Try not to worry quite so much. 
and be patient with your son. That's all I ask. Persephone, I cannot promise you such things. They're not my strengths. Besides, I have a reputation to uphold. God of the dead. If the wretches do not fear me, or you for that matter, what then? I'm not going to tell you how to balance your work, your marriage, and your parental responsibilities. I don't think anybody on Olympus or below knows quite how best to manage that. So long as we do our best. Our best. That I can promise you. Sometimes I still cannot believe that you are here, returned to us. Your radiance in all this darkness. You must miss seeing the coast. The coast was nice enough, Hades. But nothing is ever perfect, right? No matter how hard you try. Still, I think we get quite close around here every once in a while. You have taken much less time adjusting to this place than when first you joined us. Part of my surprise. I myself was forced to be here. I never thought anyone would come from the surface here by choice. The heart can make us do the strangest things, can't it? Indeed. Don't go too hard on each other out there, all right? You are a hard worker. Tell me something, Zagreus. Sometimes I fear... Do you hate him? I mean your father. Regardless of his intentions. It sounds as though he made your life extraordinarily difficult. All his pent-up fear and anger. You bore the brunt of it. Do I hate him? Mother, I don't know that I hate anybody, really. The tales of him and the Olympians rending their immortal Titan parents to bits. I can't relate to how they must have felt. But I resented him, for sure. And I don't know if I'll ever get over that entirely. I understand. I think that when Hades told you he asked no forgiveness, he understood as well and meant it. Well, for all his failings, I'm thankful that he did not teach you how to hate. For your own sake, if not for his. Sometimes I think he tried. So how has it been between you and your father lately, Zagreus? I know the two of you have lots of work ahead of you. Especially him. Well, it's been alright, I guess. I think he's set in some of his ways. But at least we have some sort of understanding now. Even if he acts like everything is still the same when I'm out there on the job. He says it's so you put forth your fullest effort every time. All this is a big adjustment for him as well. Not that it's any excuse for how he's treated you. Are you... all right, seeing us together? Yes, I'm glad for you. Um, so, are things with you and Father... everything all right so far? Things are good, Zagreus. I'm from Olympus. All the relationships I've ever known have been the complicated sort. But with your father, despite our different dispositions and interests, Beneath it all, we share a simple understanding. And what understanding is that, if you can share? That we're all we've got. And that we love each other, through thick and thin. Wait, you're not... you're not thinking about having more children, are you? <laughs> no. You're plenty. <laughs> 